All right, so this is chapter nine in geometry, section four, compositions of isometries. And our learning objective is going to, at the end of this, you should know how to find compositions of isometries, including glide reflections, and then you should also be able to classify isometries. All right, so thank goodness there are only four isometries. Translation, just from one spot to another spot. Rotation. Reflection, like your mommy, mommy was staring back at me. It's her favorite song. Um, and then the glide reflection, which is, if you look, glide reflection, where we move and we reflect. Glide, glide, and reflect. Um, a composition of reflections across two parallel lines is a translation. You can write this composition as A. So if you look, you've got um, two reflections. So it gets a prime prime. So we got triangle A double prime. B double prime, C double prime, and the composition has the distance between the image and the pre-image coordinates are all per, uh, the line segments from the pre-image to the image are all perpendicular to the lines L and M. And they're all, ooh, this is a good one. Let's get our highlighter out because if you look, the line A, A double prime, B, B double prime, C, C double prime are all equal to 2 times PQ. So so here is, I want to, I want to get my pen out. Um, so from here to here, from B to B double prime, and then C to C double prime, they are all equal to 2 times PQ. So we're going to put a P right here and a Q right here. All right, so in problem one, we look at um, we have parallel lines L and M. And we're going to draw a J between lines L and M. What is the image of a reflection around M combined with a reflection around L of point J? And then what is the re distance of the resulting translation? So the first thing we're going to do is reflect J across line L. And when we do that, we get 2 times AP prime. Then we're going to reflect the image across line M. Oh, it's the, I see the J now. It's the entire J, not the, I was looking for point J and it was really messing me up. It's this actual, it's, it's the actual shape J. So, we reflected them across line L. So P prime, the distance from P to P prime is 2 times AP. Then we're going to reflect the image across line M. So here we are. We're going to reflect it across line M. So we're going to take this distance from P to P prime and put it all the way on the other side of M which is 2BP prime. 
then, so P moved a total distance of 2 times AB. Because it moved AB, and then a little bit more, and then all the way back over to from its original point to its resting point, 2 times AB. Reflections across intersecting lines. We can rewrite the composition, reflection across line L, combined with reflection line across line M, of the triangle ABC equal to triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, as the reflection across line L of the reflection across line M of triangle ABC. So we can rewrite it either way. At the end of the day, triangle ABC is rotated counterclockwise around the point of intersection. So that's where we run into counterclockwise again. All right, so let's look at these two problems. In triangle TEX, what is the image for the glide reflection reflect across y equals negative 2 and translated 1 comma 0 of triangle TEX? Use the information you're given and choose from the following words to fill in the blanks completely sentence. So, what we know, we know the vertices of triangle TEX. So, T is at negative 5, 2. E is at negative 1, 3. And X is at negative 2, 1. The translation rule is 1, 0. So, we're going to add a 1 to all of our X coordinates and nothing to all of our y coordinates, and then we're going to reflect it across the line y equals negative 2. What we need is the image of triangle TEX for the glide, and we are first going to use the transition rule to translate TEX, and then we're going to reflect the translation of each vertex across the line y the line of reflection, y equals negative 2. All right, so we're going to move triangle TEX one unit to the right. And then we're going to reflect the image of triangle T prime, E prime, X prime across the line y equals negative 2. So T double prime is going to be negative 4, negative 6. E double prime is going to be 0, negative 7. And X double prime is going to be negative 1, negative 5. 